I've been kind of given the impression that it's a nine we're looking for. We are actually looking for a genuine number nine. Levan Golski? All over it. I'm all no, over Levan Golski. He's to Barca. No, he's coming to Liverpool. <laughs> I've heard it. I've heard it through the grapevine. Just I'd look what I mean now. I mean, if it's realistic, or, I tell you what, it better, it better not be Darwin can't hold up a ball or pass a ball. Nunez, I, I feel like we went through a while back where you were singing his praises. No, never Nunez. I said he's a great goal scorer, but he's not what we need with a good, he's not a good enough footballer. You know, I've given up, I've given out about Jada enough. Nunez, Nunez is like a is like is like Jada Mark too. Goal scorer, like not much else going on up there. Um, it'd be like a game of fucking tennis with them two up front. Ping the ball down, the ball comes back with the touch alone. So, no, not Nunes. By the way, Jota, abysmal cameo in the Champions League final. Abysmal. That one where the ball was fizzed in, his touch was horrific. Yeah, we did kind of agree yesterday, Chris, that we'd be a little bit concerned if, if Jota was our, our main nine he cannot be. option going through the we, season. We Madness, cannot isn't it? go into the new season with him as the as the as the, the starting centre forward. If we do call it off, it would be embarrassing. And I'm sorry, it sounds harsh. It's like he's not scored 20 goals this season, right? Oh no, but like when was it? Is, no, he's a goal so scorer, Merson, Chris. That's all he is. Goal scorer, <laughs> and he's not. Like, he's not. He's There's not. There's a Liverpool not do not buy him. players to just be a goal man. to be a goal scorer. His positioning, his work rate, he's got one of the top pressures in the league. There is a reason what, why I, the man is there. All right, you know what? People are disagreeing in the comments. I, I really don't understand what I did. I told you to like, ignore the comments. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of the comments. You, you just ignore them. People hate us. Just, just go what I will it. say is, I agree with the fact he shouldn't be our main striker next season. What's Grand, I, I do enough. agree, but I, I do Good. think that he has been very, very disrespected just because of a little... Oh, I think again. he's a great option. I love having Jota sure. in. He's definitely got a knack of scoring goals, 100%. But, you know, we can't argue what Paddy said. Some of his touches have been a little bit horrendous. Oh, yeah, to be absolutely. He's been, he's been poor the last last 10 games or so. Um, but it doesn't mean he'll come back. He, he's that. one of the only ones. That's, he's been so, so ultra consistent since he arrived at the club um, until these last sort of 10 to 11 games. So, again, you got to cut him some slack. But yeah, what we can't argue against, gents, is three cup finals, not a goal scored. Two one though. Yes, which is That's brilliant. Shocking, though, no, I do agree. No goal. It is scored brilliant. We won them. I'm not I'm moaning about that, mate. I would. I happily win every final on penalties if it meant we won them. It's embarrassing. We should have won that game against Madrid. Yeah, Courtois was on a mad one, but to not score any goals in three finals is embarrassing, regardless of the results of them. Yeah, you have really? to be scoring fucking really? goals. I don't know. I don't know what hap- what's happened. It is a bit. Oh. It is a bit of an anomaly, Chris. When we we would all sit here and say that we feel we've got one of the best attacks in world football, and we'd all agree on that one. It is weird. But to it draw three blanks is a bit. It is a weird one. But to be honest, boys, I, I and I understand why you think it. I don't think it's embarrassing because we've won two of them. If we'd have lost all of them, I, I think maybe it would have been. But yeah, but yeah. penalties are lotteries. Let's be honest. Penalty shooters yeah. are lottery. Not, but not also, we put in some great the groundwork on the penalties with um with the company of the club we're working with, and you know we, we worked to make sure that that penalty shootouts or those penalty shootouts went their way. So oh, like, I don't know. I don't know about you boys. In ten years' time, I'm not going to give a fuck whether we won on penalties or not. I guess <laughs> it's, it's not that we don't give a fuck, Chris. It's, it's more the point they're making is these are these are the games you want the big boys to show up in. It's these, true, yeah. you know, if you're talking about a Messi or Ronaldo. You know, the big players of the past, they show up and score it's, on the big occasions. It's it's more to highlight the fact that we need to change something in the attack to not score in three finals. It's not, yeah, Grant, obviously, fucking hell, if we never scored in a final forevermore and won every one, I wouldn't give a bollocks. I, I agree. But ultimately, not scoring against Madrid cost us the Champions League, which is the biggest one. Um, the two other cups are great, right? I mean, they're, 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 listen... It's like I've seen a great, a great anomaly. It's the, I don't know, I don't know what. Like, oh yeah, that's what it was. The winning, the winning those two cups is like shagging two members of ABBA, but they're the two men. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you get me? That's that. That's not that my tweet, by the way. But that's the perfect way to sum it up. They're great. Right. They were How great. You've been doing those fan parks, pal. Honestly. But ultimately, surrounded by cocks, Chris. Remember, he admitted it. Sausage everywhere. No, but boy, no, but seriously, like, let's not. I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm going to be consistent. Obviously, losing the Premier League was, well, I say losing, not winning the Premier League was bitterly disappointing. And I said, we have to win the Champions League for this season to be declared a success. 
and I agree with that still. We're losing, oh, but you know, the, when the when the full time whistle went, I wasn't angry. I wasn't upset. I didn't cry. I was numb. I was just in disbelief. I literally didn't say a word. I I, I didn't. Even, I barely even talked in the whole second half. I was standing there in the fan zone. I didn't. I didn't utter a word. I just. It felt like it was inevitable. I felt. Like I knew from the seventy minutes they weren't going to get a goal. It was weird. Um. But yeah, I don't know what I'm fighting on about there. But he stopped talking. I don't know. I can't <laughs> to bring this back to the, to the search for a forward, gents, uh, Chris, I'm going to quote Transfer Room Tweet here. They said, Liverpool are in a real race to sign Benfica's Darwin Nunes. Manchester United are also interested in the Uruguayan with his release clause set at €150 million. Euro. The Portuguese side wants at least €100 million euro to let him leave, and the credit for that was at CM Journal. Now, Chris, I put it to you, sir, that regardless of whatever the interest is or is not in Nunes, He's not worth 100 million euro now. No way, no chance, no how. He's struggling to be worth half that, to be honest. If Diaz isn't, then surely he's not. I, f- I find with the uh, with Nunes, there's a, I just there's just something off. I, I don't. Apart from can't... the hairband. Apart from the hairband. We're all agreeing the hairband, shambolic, right? Go on. Sorry, Chris. Push away. Luis Garcia had a hairband. My favorite. Luis one of my Garcia favorite... is Luis Garcia, sir. Everything. It just points to United for me. To be honest, it all does bang of United. That's why I'm afraid to kind of give him any cre- any credit here. That's why I've been sitting on the fence. I even admitted it yesterday on the stream. I- I'm not going to sit here and say he's good or he isn't good or or big him up because I do get the feeling. And I know Goldbridge has been saying that he thinks we're, we're in from, but I'm yet to been told anything. From, Everything from my I've end. been told has been United everywhere. That's that's kind of the vibe I've been getting as well around United and if somebody's going to pay Benfica stupid money I don't think it's going to be us Paddy no no chance he's not the right guy I wish him all the best as I said before he needs another stepping stone club before he goes to a big boy Um. so no, United I don't... What? what so United then yeah exactly exactly no he's not for me not for me I, I can't give out about Jada and then go to sign Nunes because he's just a very He's a good goal scorer, but Jesus Christ, he's a bit of a disaster sometimes. With his, he's like he's like watching a horse play football with his with his balance and things. But uh, yeah, I wish him all the best. Just not for Liverpool. And Kunku though, I like. Now that's the next one. Obviously, we um, if you were to look for a nine, and myself and Connor actually tried to do up a list earlier on of players who we've been linked with, and I won't lie, Chris, it was a pretty depressing list. There wasn't um. There wasn't too many names on that list, maybe outside of, of Nkunku and one, two, maybe others, from an out-and-out out nine now, from someone we're trying to play through the centre. Nkunku has to be the answer. Footballing-wise, as we discussed yesterday, footballing-wise, you couldn't find anyone who fits more, I think. Um, he, he's perfect. He, he's got the work right. He's got the pressures. One of the top pressures in the Bundesliga. Um, I think he's 90 third percentile um he, he's so uh, athletic he's great finisher got got everything but it's the psg comments craig it's the psg i know comments. i know i get you but there's two ways of looking at that chris we can look at that and think right we keep him for four or five years and then we'll sell him for an ungodly sum to psg like and i mean an ungodly sum it would be i mean how much do you think we'd pay for him now if uh if we'd sign it 70 Maybe. million euro we do have a good relationship with Leipzig, but it's because we spend a lot of money there. <laughs> good loyalty card. Yeah. I mean, I think we all will we all agree in Kunku is is almost like a, an ideal Sadio Mane replacement if we're looking for a similar type of output from a player. Yeah. Listen, I wouldn't really care or read too much into the PSG comments. At the end of the day, he is Parisian, I believe. He is from Paris. It's just like Trent saying about Liverpool, you know, it's it's as if, if you know, it's just normal. Um but ultimately, I don't think PSG necessarily will go for him. They don't need him now. They have Mbappe, so I think we, we I think we should, we, I, we should be all over him like a dirty rash. I would love him. I think his season this year has been obscene, and I just think he'd be great. So, as per Fabrizio Romano here, they, he's called it as saying after Sadio Mane's departure, Liverpool's intention is to buy a new striker because Luis Diaz has performed at such an excellent level since signing for the Reds in January. I kind of, I. I was guessing this very thing, Chris, about two weeks ago. I said, I wonder if Klopp's going to shake up the way we play a bit and actually look for a genuine striker.